y'all my name is yesenia i am an elementary and literacy lab facilitator here at girls inc of orange county my pronouns are she her and hers and today we're going to be taking part in a challenge that has been going around i'm sure you have heard about it it is called the paper towel challenge but we're going to make this challenge a little bit more girls inc For this activity, you're only going to need two things, a paper towel and some markers. You're also going to need access to a sink, like a kitchen sink or a bathroom sink. And you can even try doing this using a bowl of water. But for today's activity, I will be using my bathroom sink. For this paper towel challenge, I will be making it more girls ink by writing positive affirmations on my paper towel. Positive affirmations, in case you don't remember, are positive things that you say to yourself or to others. The first thing that you're going to be doing is you're going to be grabbing your paper towel and you're going to fold it in half like this. So you can use the larger paper towels or just stick with the smaller ones. The size of the paper towel does not matter. Then I want you to think about the affirmations that you want to write on your paper towel. You're going to be writing the first half of the affirmation on the top layer and then the second half of the affirmation on the bottom layer. Now that you have thought about your affirmation, I want you to write it on your paper towel. So how you will do that is you will write the first half of the affirmation at the top part of the paper towel and then the second half on the bottom part of the paper towel. To make sure that the marker does not bleed through to the other side of the paper towel, you're going to want to open it up just like this and you can still see that you're working on the bottom part of this paper towel. So I'm going to be writing my I am beautiful affirmation and then I can close it up and that way it can help me to figure out where I want to write beautiful on the bottom layer. So I have all of this space down here. So I'll fold this part up a little and then I'm actually going to use a different color to write beautiful. Some other things that you can add to your paper towel is decorations. So for example, if you want to draw some little stars on your paper towel, you can decorate these as much as you want. Now that you have written your affirmation on your paper towel, you're going to want to go to a sink filled with water and you're going to place it into the sink so that the water absorbs into the towel and reveals your secret message. So I'm going to take you over to my sink so that we can see the secret message together. All right, everyone, welcome to my bathroom. It's going to be a little echoey in here. I hope you don't mind, but let's use my sink down here to reveal our secret message. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to be filling our sink with some water. You don't need it to be too filled because it just needs a little bit of water. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put your paper towel right inside and ta -da! here is my secret message revealed to you. So your secret message, as you can see here, will kind of fade away. If you use Sharpies to write your messages, that might work better than regular markers. I made another affirmation on the paper towel. Let me know down below if you can guess what it says. So I'm gonna reveal it to you right now. Were you all able to guess what it says? You are amazing. So now that we have done this activity, where else can we use this activity? Can you use it to write secret messages for a friend who's feeling a little sad? For a family member? For a sibling? What can you do now that you know how to do this? Think about that. And then let me know down in the comments below some of your other ideas on how to use these paper towel secret messages. Thanks for watching this paper towel challenge video. I hope you enjoyed the girls' twist that we did on it. 
If you want me to see your creations, you can email them to me or you can tag us on Instagram. Don't forget to get parent permission first. And also don't forget that you are strong, smart, and bold. I'll see you in the next video.